I'm going to show you how to make delicious fluffy mashed potatoes in your pressure cooker. You're not going to believe how easy this is. Okay, so the potatoes have been peeled and they're sliced and I've just got them in some chunks here. And I usually leave them in a bowl of cold water while I'm working in them. So I've got them drained here. I'm going to get ready to put them in. Oh, still have my silicone um, tray there in there. Don't need that. So we're going to go ahead and just put the potatoes in. And then, believe it or not, you don't need much water when you do this in a pressure cooker, which is great. So I've got, um, looks like just a hair over a cup of water here. You're kind of going to almost steam the potatoes in here. It's a really nice little setup. You can or cannot add a little salt. Not very much. I just put a widget in there. Let me just show you really quick. You can see that they're not covered with water. So they'll steam nicely. They won't be waterlogged that way. Go ahead and put the lid on. Turn this dial up here to seal. And we're going to pressure cook. Not very long. I'm going to start it out at about, for that many potatoes, hmm, let's do like eight minutes, maybe even five. Let's do seven. And these are actually only going to cook for about seven minutes at pressure. And just to clarify, when we say at pressure, um, doesn't mean it's going to be seven minutes and this is going to be done. First, this pressure cooker has to fill up with pressure. Then the seven minute countdown begins. So when we say seven minutes at pressure, it means once it's actually gotten to pressure, then it will be seven minutes. So we'll come back and check. Here's a little fun note here. These are actually the potato skins, and I didn't throw them away. I actually just put them in a bowl of cold water with a little salt. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up some oil, and I'll just throw these in and make my own little, like, potato skin chips. They're very, very thin, as you can see, so you don't want to leave them in very long at all. You just basically heat up the oil, grab your handful. You um, They're wet, so you want to make sure that you um, drain the water out, and then I always, like, put them in a little kitchen towel and pat them dry. Once I do that, I just grab a handful of these, throw them in the oil for just a few minutes, if even that, and then I just bring them right back out. Otherwise, they'll burn. But they make a nice little tasty snack. All right. Let's see how they're doing. Got my handy dandy potato tester. And they are done. See how quick that was? Seven minutes in the pressure cooker. All right, so what I'm going to do is drain out any water which might be left in here, and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to do the next step, which is to go ahead and add the butter and the milk and some salt or sour cream, whatever it is you choose to put in your potatoes, garlic, salt, you name it. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Breville potato masher here, and I love how this thing works, and it gives me a couple of different options here. So if I can get this the right way. I can make a rustic potato, I can make a smooth potato, or I can do a creamy potato. And I've got it on smooth, so I'm going to do that. And you can obviously use whatever it is you typically use in mashed potatoes. You can use a wooden spoon or a fork, or maybe some people like to put it into another bowl and use a hand mixer, whatever works for you. So I'm going to go ahead and add your salt to taste. I have here couple of tablespoons of butter and I'm going to start with maybe about a quarter cup of milk you can use cream um, like I said some people use sour cream whatever it is you choose to put in start this on a little bit of a lower setting and we're just going to go to work use a potato ricer this is basically what this is it's just an electric potato ricer you don't want to overwork your potatoes because then you get that sticky, glutinous potato. You want them to be light and fluffy. And because I'm not using metal, I can go right into the pan that I use in my food processor. So I'm also keeping my dishes down. All right, that looks pretty good. So I get it all off of there. I'm going to go ahead and get these into a dish and we'll see how they taste. All right, those look pretty yummy. And what I've done is I just sprinkled a little dill on the top. You could sprinkle anything you like if you choose. You could put parsley, sprinkle a couple of bacon bits, um, whatever. But I like dill, especially if I had happened to put sour cream in there. 
So let's see how we did. Mmm. Those are good. Because I didn't overwork the potatoes, I just quickly just um, mashed them up. They're light, they're fluffy, they're not that glutinous, sort of sticky sort of feeling. And I put in just the right amount of butter and, and um, uh, milk. I don't like mine to be overly done because I like to be able to taste the potato in there. And the dill added a nice little uh, seasoning on the top. So there you go. That's how quick and easy it is to do mashed potatoes in the pressure cooker.